Welcome to the Kindle Touch. This is a short tutorial you can use to help you get familiar really quick with the Kindle device you're using. The Kindle, to turn it on, you touch this button right here. And then the four lines on the face of the machine are what help you get to the home page. And this is what the home page looks like. You'll see the contents of the Kindle loaded already. And so to select any of them, you just click on the document you want to read. And it'll show up. Uh, tap in the center for the next page and tap to the left for the previous page. This is what the page will look like. If you tap the top of the screen, you'll see the menu bar and the toolbar will show up. This will allow you to change the, um, the type size if you want to, if you want to make it bigger or smaller. Just select the right type size and the text will change for you. If you touch the menu button here, it takes you to the menu for the selected document, which is different from the menu for the Kindle. And that menu looks like this, and this gives you some options that you can use for your Kindle, including allowing you to see your bookmarks and make notes. It also has a feature called text-to-speech, and if you want an audio version of the book, you can turn this on, you can select the kind of voice you want, the speech rate, the volume level, uh, but this will allow you to listen to the um, book while you read it. And if you ever want to turn it off, the off button is right there. If you want to highlight a particular text and make annotations for it, all you do is press your finger against the screen and drag it across the text that you want to select. It'll show up like this. You can also uh, look up definitions of words that you aren't familiar with. Just simply hold your finger on the word, then let go, and the dictionary will appear and tell you the definition. If you want to make a note on your highlighted text and annotate it, uh, you can simply create a note like this. And you can also share your notes via Facebook or Twitter account if you press this button. Note, you will have to log into your Facebook or Twitter account uh, in order to share these. But before you uh, post onto Facebook or Twitter, uh, you'll be able to enter a message before you share the highlighted text. And then when you share it, it'll look like this. Here is my note, as well as the section from the text that I have shared with my Facebook page. So if you have any questions, please let your librarian or your teacher know them and we will help you. Thank you.